Oh, stop it. Sorry guys, I wasn't meaning you. But yeah, welcome guys, welcome. Hope you're doing well on this Tuesday. <clears throat> but yeah, today guys we're going to be looking at... Not the London Commuter. So bear with me, there we go. We're going to be looking at the Great Western Express. We're going to be doing a run on the Great Western Express between Paddington and Reading. And today guys we're also going to be going through, well, an article from train for train sim world 2. So yeah if you enjoy this sort of content guys feel free to like share and subscribe if you're watching this on youtube. I say all the social links will be down below like the discord, the youtube and the twitch. I'll put a link to train sim world 2. I'll also put a link to great western express because that actually doesn't come part of the game. Unless you have the preserved collection from Train Simmer 2020. If you had Great Western Express on that version, it would have come over. So, yeah. So, a bit more of a difference. But, yeah, lovely. <clears throat> but, yeah. Just bear with me a second. Because my title's decided to jump off my screen. Thank you. There we go. So, let's have a look to see what runs we can actually do. We are doing a timetable scenario. Hmm, we've got a choice between the Digital Legends of the Great Western or the Great Western Express. Hmm. Thinking. Oh, I'll do the Diesel Legends of the Great Western. <clears throat> and we will take our 101 out, actually. So we will do a run from. Where should we go? Reddington and Paddington Slough to Reading. And Paddington to Maidenhead. Well, let's do a run from London Paddington to Maidenhead, the two Alpha 77. A bit different. Driving a different train for a change. One, guys, you rarely see me drive. Rarely. But yeah, just so you know, guys, this is coming from DTG's forums. Don't forget tonight, guys, as this goes live on the 2nd of November 2021. Don't forget, guys, that there is a roadmap, a train similar to roadmap, at 8 o'clock with Sam and Adam tonight. Tomorrow, there is Workshop Wednesdays with Jamie at 8. And then on Thursday, well, this is to be confirmed, guys, there is going to be a Let's Play West Cornwall Local with Matt, Sam and Jasper from Rivet Games. So they're the three things coming up. So yeah. Right, there we go. Yeah, unlock those doors. Let's set this train up. So we want right so we want them as white. I'm trying to remember how to bloody set this train up now. They're not bloody close them, you pillar. <coughs> uh, right, where's the bloody master key? This is the thing that confuses me with this train. Never find where the bloody master key is. <laughs> ah, there you go. Gear to Yeah, we'll put that out hit one, we'll leave it in neutral for now. Left panel light. Is there anything else that needs to be in here? I don't think 
same size. Except from the destination. And then we'll go to the back end and... My door's actually closed. There we go. Right, we are going to... Okay, we've got the destination blind set to Maidenhead. Ouched. So we're a three car plus a three car, so we are actually a six car. Right, we want to come in here and put these two red so it shows it's the back of the train. Maidenhead, excellent. Let's run back to the front of the train. Turn my torch off. Yeah, so driving a 101 for a change. It's unusual for me. Run my things in forward. Okay, we've got movement. Right, you're out, we come with Paddington. Just stop for a second because I've opened my door from this thing. We'll get this train moving. There we go. And it again. We will get moving shortly guys, don't you worry. Right, there we go. So yeah, driving to, well we're calling out on this service, Acton Main Line, Ealing Broadway, West Ealing, Hanwell, South Hall, Hayes and Harlington, West, West Trayton, Iver, Langley, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and looks like Maidenhead. So 
Yes, I'd say a different loco for a change or a different union. So you rarely see me driving the 101. Because, as I say, I struggle to drive this train, so... Where does the doobly do? Okay. Don't know where the AWS is in this train. Just cruise for a bit. So, talking about articles, my article decides to load. Yep. Yeah, so the article we want to talk about, guys, is West Cornwall, Lo West Cornwall Local arriving soon. So River Games West Cornwall local arrives in train sim world 2 on the 4th of November. So that's this Thursday. <coughs> we are excited to announce the new release date for River Games up and coming West Cornwall local Penzance to St Norstall and St Ives. On the 4th of November all players will be able to tour the beautiful Cornish countryside in the 150-2 and the BR375. In the time taken to address these issues, update notes. So okay, there's update notes as well. The timetable has also seen some additional work in the form of a new layer, which adds over 20 playable services. Okay. These services include Local hall passenger and mail services between St Austell and Penzance combined with a light loco moves and BR08 produces no product produce sorry let me just get my words right here proceed procedures there you go at Penzance various sidings and yards have been populated with static rolling stock and the BR Class 101 is drivable on the existing BR Class 150 services and a few heritage DMUs will still be roaming around roaming the Cornish countryside by the early 1990s. So yeah, at the start of the article guys, you get a lovely picture of a 101 on the St Ives branch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Then you get an 08 and a 37 in the snow. The local herd services can be driven with the Class 40, Class 45, Class 47 as well as the included 37, adding a variety of driver boy experiences to the route. So that's just added a load more stuff to the West Cornwall local route. Wow. But guys, remember, please note order to access the additional services you will need to own North Trans Pennine route Manchester to yeah North Trans Pennine route Manchester to Leeds and the BR heavy freight pack heavy freight loco pack for train cinema 2 guys make sure you have both of those because if you don't you won't get the extra layers so the extra layers are the 40, the 45, the 47, the 08, and the 101. They're the brand new layers. West Cornwall Local is coming soon to Train Cinema 2 on the 4th of November. Stay up to date and more by following Train Sim World on Twitter and Facebook.
I'm just slowing down because I need to stop at uh, back to the main line. comes to what I want. So I'm not sure if the one I want from the Diesel Legends of the Great Western is going to be uh, usable. I don't know. But due to the Preserve Collection not being available on Epic Games Store, West Cornwall Local will not have access to the new layers. So guys, if you're on Epic Games, and you're playing Train Sim World 2 on Epic Games, the layers that we've just spoken about, the class 40, 45, 47, 08 and 101, will not be available to you. As far as I'm aware, the new layers will be available to Xbox One players, Xbox Series X and S players, PlayStation 4 players, PlayStation 5 players, and Steam players. So, there we go. So that's uh, up-to-date information, guys, about the West Cornwall Loco, coming out on the 4th of November, 2021. So yeah, I'd say it's nice that, you know, the River Games have gone, do you know what? We'll give you guys some extra services. So yeah, you'll have the normal services like the 150 and the 37. But then you'll have additional services with the... There you go. Yeah, with the 40, 45, 47 08 and the 101. Right, we have arrived at Acton Mainline. Right, sorry about that. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, I don't know why I've got green smoke coming out of this train, but hey ho. I did get the whole entire train on the platform. Right, leading Broadway now. Thank you TV screen. It looks cold and rickety to ride this train. Welcome Bob, welcome, hope you're doing well. This is the class 101 Bob that you get with Diesel Legends of the Great Western which is a DLC for the Great Western Express. I hope you're doing well, Bob. Hope your train sim well too. Adventures have been going well. Hopefully you've found another loco to uh, learn. Never seen this route? Oh, okay. 
Well, this is the Great Western Express, this route. I'm saying it's available for trains in World 2. It's part of the preserved collection. So yeah, this route runs between London Paddington and Reading. Soon we're becoming to Eden Broadway. Yeah, how's your train soon World 2 adventures been coming along then, Bob? to Ealing Broadway. Right, then we come slowly. That's definitely not helpful. I don't think I've got all the train on the platform. No, I haven't missed one carriage off. There we go. Yeah, we're driving a two-car, well, two-car, I meant to say a double 101, so we're drive, running a six-car service. So if anybody's never seen inside a 101, here we are. Drivers get com the guard compartment. We've got no lights on either. And there's the driver's compartment back there, and there's the second one. Yeah, there we go. Very, very old fashioned. Right, to West Eland next. And there's an express service going through. Did not see which train, which train that was uh, connected to. Yeah, a nice smooth drive to West Ealing. Now we've got Hanwell, South Hall, Hayes and Harlington, West Drayton, Iver, Langley, 
Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and then Maidenhead. So it's really nice to just drive something old. Instead of driving, I don't know, a 166 or something like that up and down this line. But yeah, to run this line, guys, to run this scenario, you need Great Western Express, Diesel Legends of the Great Western, which gives you the 52, the 101, and the 08. You will also need the 45 and the 47 from North Trans Pennine. And you will also need the Class 31 DLC as well. But as I say, if you don't have the Class 31 DLC, then you won't have the layer of the extra um, stop inserts from the Class 31. So if you don't have the 45 or the 47, you won't have the express services between Reading and London Paddington. struggle to stop this train, I always struggle. There we go. And it's also slammed our stock as well. <laughs> That's saying like this time I'm just staying in the cab where it's warm. Well, there goes a 52 service off to somewhere mystical and magical. Right, Hanwell next. Tell you, there's also quite a lot of these uh, Class 101s preserved as well, quite a lot. And strangely, I'm actually starting to like the 101 more now because, well, the first time I ever saw a 101, I wasn't 100% keen on it. But now I've driven it a lot in Train Sim World 2, I'm a bit like this train's not bad.
Yeah, I think the only thing I don't like about the train is its gear system. That's the only thing I don't like about it, the gear system. Right, we're coming up to Hanwell. Yeah, so as I said at the beginning of the stream guys, West Cornwall Local is coming out on the 4th of November 2021. So, between now and... Again, am I? Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, between now and Thursday, make sure, guys, you have got North Trans Pennine, the class 45 and 47. <coughs> also, make sure you've got the BR Heavy Freight Pack for the class 40 and the class 08. Oh yeah, and also North Trans Pennine for the Class 101 as well. So make sure you have those DLCs, because if you don't have those DLCs, you won't get the layers. There we go, we have arrived at, try and think, Hanwell, that's the, uh, uh, where we've uh, appeared. Good old Hanwell. Right, South Hall next. That's my character. Right, there we go. Sod off, I don't want to become famous. Sod right off. Right, as I say to South Hall next. Have we gone past um, Heathrow? Like Heathrow far fly over yet? I'm a bit confused. Right, when we get to South Hall. So I don't think the Heathrow Express comes down this far. So 
just because I can see a lot of electronic equipment. I'm not used to seeing it on the middle line, well, the uh, outside line. Let's say to finish off this stream, guys, we will do a express service. As I was saying, we will do an express service back to London Paddington, so... We finish off there. So we start at London Paddington, and we'll finish at London Paddington, so... Well, we are coming up to South Hall. For some reason, I'm wanting to say Hayes and Harlington for some reason. There we go. South Hall. Isn't it South Hall that's got the um, Arabic writing down below? I'm not sure. Yeah. Right, Hayes and Harlington next. For your safety and comfort, this station operates a no smoking policy. Please keep the speed in eyes. Yeah, okay, thank you. Right, here we go. Off to Hayes and Harlington now. So, what have we got left? Hayes and Harlington, West Drayton, Ivor, Langley, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and then there'd be Maidenhead. So, we covered quite a bit. Hey, it's just nice to just drive along in, as I say, something old. Yeah, and just look at the cab. The cab is, well, old. Obviously. Hey, I'm not sure if in the olden days, back in the 70s, 80s, if I'm not sure if 101's actually ran on this line between London and Reading. I don't 
that rhyme. I don't know what I've been told to do 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 do. Right, one mile to Hayes and Harlington. Right, we'll have to see if the um, electro um, electronic wires go past Hayden Harlington because last time I knew Hayden Harlington they used to stop. Also, I'm not sure uh, where the gap, not the gap we can express. I meant to say the Heathrow Express, I'm not 100% sure where that actually goes off. Not the Gatwick Express, that's really the. I was going to say the Heathrow. I meant to say the Gatwick Express is a completely different line. Yep, we made it to Hayes and Harlington. And the electronic wires are still are still going on this line. Hello, Hayes and Harlington. There's a TFL rail branding. I did not realise that, there's TFL Rail branding here. And they've actually painted the seats purple. Have the seats always been purple? I don't know. Right, it's two West Straight turn now. It goes to one on one, 101 in the opposite direction. To somewhere mystical kind and of magical. Oh, actually, it's off to London Paddington, so. <sighs> so, West Drayton next in 1.9 miles. Okay, that's where it goes off. 
Okay, that makes sense now. But the electronic lines are still going. That's where the Heathrow Express comes down. That's where the Heathrow Express goes up. So now the Heathrow Express doesn't go to um, West Drayton. And there we go. We're only on a di we're on a diesel only line now. So yeah, off to West Drayton and then Iver, Langley, Slough, Burnham. Aplo and then Maidenhead. A bit. We're coming into West Drayton a bit. Lively. Definite overshoot. Oh, okay. We just got. We just missed by two carriages. So, I for next. <sighs> so, it's actually been a really nice run something a bit more, shall we say, different, old. I say, I don't always drive um, old trains. Like, I drive old locos, but units I don't really drive them.
And as I say, I hardly drive the 101. Hardly. So, I well, drive the 101, something a bit different. Just to let people know, the class 313 will be back on a stream at some point. I say I did a str I did a stream of literally the 101. No, not 101. talking about now I did a uh, about three streams of the uh, 313 right here we come to Iva A nice uh, remote station. little tea lights in the uh, lights on the front I will lock the door shortly this nice little waiting room Just vaguely see the uh, tower lights. What are you doing, love? Langley, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, and then Maidenhead. I've just realised I'm taking a screenshot of the one I want yet. I've just realised that. We'll do it when we get to the end of the room. At Maidenhead. This is a first gen diesel that we're driving guys, a first gen. So this was built before you like your 150s, your 142s and your paces and stuff.
Right, Langley in one mile. I say this does feel like very countrysidey autumn winter if you get what I mean. Right, out we come to Langley. So the kids of today's railways wouldn't understand what people in the 60s and 70s had to go through for trains. Like I say, trains nowadays, they look... Oh. Well, if you actually look at it, they look a bit more state-of-the-art. Just something like this. So I'm not going to say every single train that we have nowadays is actually comfortable. At least they look a bit more state of the art. Right, we've arrived at Langley. So I think we've got Slough next. Yep, Slough. So Slough, Berman, Taplow and Maidenhead. And then to finish off, we'll do, it, we'll do an express run back from Reading back to London Paddington. Yeah, so I haven't decided uh, which train yet, so to do the run from air. Uh Yeah, back to the West Cornwall thing, guys. If you have um, 
Yeah, I was going to say, if you have London Paddington... Sorry, if you have West Cornwall local, sorry. All you'll, all you'll be getting is an update. That's all you'll get. But for people that don't own West Cornwall route, they will be able to purchase it on the 4th of November 2021. Right, okay. So let me just go to the uh, improvements. I know I've left this quite far in the video, but... So West Cornwall will be coming uh, Thursday the 4th of November, okay. With the release being delayed two weeks, we thought we'd share a quick change log for the improvements that have been made by River Games and Dovetail Games teams since then. These will be coming with the launch of the route. So the headlines. The headline is that we have added a layer of for West Cornwall which uses trains from North Trenton Express route. Yep. Brakes are really noisy on this train. So yeah, the layers they've added, North Trans Pennine and Heavy Freight Pack, they've added a class 47 and Mark 2 couches. Mark 2 couches. Sorry, I meant to say Mark 2 coaches on express services. Class 47 and Mark 1 coaches on mail train service. Um, OB on, no, 08 on pilot duties in Penzance. Class 101 with small percentage of chance of substitute in for the class 150. All 150 services will be playable as the 101. Adding some loose stock around various sidings for North Trans Pen from the North Trans Pennine pack. Total services including North Trans Pennine is 95 up from 65. There we go. Right, let me just stop my train at Slough. So yeah, please note, you will need to own North Trans Pennine and the BR Heavy Freight Pack Loco add-on. And that these layers will not be available to Epic players until the preserved collection is available on the platform. These layers will be available for players on all other platforms on release though. So. These have also been tweaks on the Class 150's audio, although we stress these are tweaks rather than wholesale changes. Okay. And then there are other fixes. So all these ones, well, the West Cornwall article I will put down below and I will put a link to the um, uh, addressed information as well. So other fixes added loose stock from Penzand pack on various sidings on the route. Improved fluidity on movement i.e. more green lights after a viewing dispatch uh, on the route. Fixed incorrect labelling of St. Earth services showing La Lant as their de destination. Fixed destination boards, logic, and configured f and configuration for 152. Head and tail lights configuration for all trains on the route improved. Fixed interaction 
volume for doors on the 152 so it doesn't interact with the fuel cap making late night shift scenario easier to complete there we go removed blank journey entries on chapter 3 custom liveries for the 37.5 now display in a scenario planner R route intro loads on the first access of the route correct thumbnail for route under player profile load turbot wagons appear loaded turbot wagons appear as loaded when previously shown as empty AWS triggers in 150 introduction small minor graphical and ambient noise improvements focused primarily around in immersions at stations so that's what's been fixed guys that is what's been fixed I will link that down below when this goes up on the YouTube so yeah there we go but yeah like I've already said guys and I'll say this again remember to check if you have North Trends Pennine and BR Heavy Freight Pack make sure you have those two if you don't you won't have the layers for the services that are need uh, that are included right we're off to Burnham now so. So we've got Burnham, but bleh. Burnham, Taplow, and Maidenhead left. And then, like I said, we'll do an express service going back to Paddington. So I'm leaning between at the forty-five and the forty-seven on me. I'm not sure yet. Okay, we're coming into Burnham now. I'll just get the whole train on. There we go. So yeah, if you've just joined guys, just to let you know, again, West Cornwall Loco is coming on 4th of November 2021 to all platforms. That includes Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Steam and Epic. Just to inform you guys, Epic will not have any of the preserved collection layers that will come with 
West Cornwall on the 4th of November 2021. All other consoles will have the layers. So for layers you need rather. So the layers come with the class 40, class 45, class 47, class 101. For those, oh and the 08 as well. So for those guys you need the North Trans Pennine DLC and the BR Heavy Freight Pack DLC. If you don't have those, then you will need to grab them, the extra layers. But Taplow next for us. Taplow. On this service we've just got Taplo and Maidenhead to call out and then that is it for this service. And then we will be doing an express service back to London Paddington to finish off. Yeah, so guys if you want to see any other see any of my other train simulator 2 content. There's a link to the YouTube down below this Twitch stream so you can jump over there and have a look. So there's about over a hundred and something videos on there of Train Sim World 2, so it's quite a bit. Yeah, the pack I'm using here, guys, is the Diesel Legends of the Great Western pack, is the pack I'm using. As I say, for this you'll need, as I said, you'll need the Class 40, no, sorry, Class 45, 47 from North Trans Pennine, 31 to do your stopper services, the Great Western Express, 52 comes with the Diesel Legends pack, the 08 comes with the Diesel Legends pack, and the 101 comes with the Diesel Legends pack. into Taplow now and then after this <coughs> we've got Maidenhead at Taplow.
right off to our final destination on this service of Maidenhead. Yep, so Maidenhead and then we will terminate them. No, 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 we don't want blank. Changed it to Paddington. I will have to go to the back and change it. But yeah, this has been a really nice line. I say, Eden, Eden, Isimbard Kingdom Brunel built this line all those years ago. Right, we're coming up to Maidenhead now. Well, we will be terminating this service. Well, we're going into a bay platform. Actually, no, we're not. We're going into a proper platform. Sorry, my mistake. Before I don't know the doors, I need to catch a picture of this train first. Just so I can put it up where the pictures need to go. And while I'm down this end, I will sort the Nation screen out while I'm down here. There you go, Paddington.
and then go down the other end. And put the tail lights on down this end. I mean that service there is ready to go back to Paddington when it's needed you bloody damn scumbag Right, that took us 1 hour, 17 minutes and 13, distance driven 24.13 miles, distance walked 0 0.6 miles, action points of 12,739. So I was 2 hour for 77 London Paddington to Maidenhead. So. Time to do the express back to London Paddington now. And I have decided in that's forty five actually and the eleven o'clock the one alpha o five So yeah, this will just be going straight through from Reading to London Paddington and then that will be it. Right, one Alpha O five to London Paddington. Press the key off on, sorry. Reverse it to forward. No, oh, I never know where the AWS is in this. That's air brake. Fire alarm. Thank you. Well, I was it. Why are you hammering? Yeah, I can never figure out where the AWS is in this system. Instrument light. Okay. Actually, we don't need that one on this line. Put the cap heaters on. Actually, while we're doing actually unlock the doors
Right, we're driving 45141. I just gotta wait for this house to load up. Now we'll be taking this service straight through to London Paddington. So we should arrive there at 11.31, so half an hour. Right, there we go. So yeah, to drive this train guys, you need the North Trends Pennine DLC. That's what the 45 comes with. somewhere on the article. There would be corner. Yeah we'll be able to use this train that we're driving now on the West Cornwall line as well. So yeah a bit different uh, well a bit different place for the class 45 in West Cornwall. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the class 45 ever went down to Cornwall. I do not have a clue. So yeah, we've got 34 miles to Paddington now. Up, that 34 miles will go down quickly. So a good old, good old set search, good old strutter off to London Paddington.
And then as I say guys, once we've done this run, we will jump onto... Well, we will finish this stream and we will jump onto something else to finish off the day. this content guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel feel free but yeah I will link all links down below like the discord server the youtube the twitch article yeah what's it called yeah the West Cornwall local article update information oh the fix information so yeah station that was I just went through. Well we're clunking the miles down now we're on 29 miles. goes a class 31 in the opposite direction.
Well, that's what happens when you get up and walk around. Good day, Darko. Good day. And thank you for the host as well, Darko. I am on the Great Western Express today, Darko. Driving the 45. If you want to catch any of my class 313 action Darko, jump over to my YouTube link which is down in the description down below. Two miles to London Paddington.
burn because yeah, the one back home. Now that, I'm not sure. I don't know. Seventeen miles to London.
quite well damaged further to go. 12 miles now. To London Paddington. 12 miles. that just went past guys that was a train we were driving earlier at class 101 stopping at all stations between London Paddington and Maidenhead Seven point two miles to London Paddington left.
Right, 4.3 miles to London Paddington now. just saw it there guys, she saw one of my class 52 repaints going past. over there. I oh, know it's not. Okay, we just changed over. Okay, we'll be going into platform. Platform. Platform three. Slow down to a forty. and we're 0 0.7 miles away from London Paddington where this service terminates
comes out comes a 31 service. Now we're going to be going down to Reading on a stop-in service. famous London Paddington station. service from somewhere. Forty five one four one. Checking over there to see if I've got any low codes over there, which I haven't. My routing to enter off. Nose light on. There we go, we did our run from Reading to London Paddington. We weren't far from the buffers either. <laughs> it's probably going to be a scumbag and go, yeah, get back in your cab and lock the doors.
Ja, bloody thoughts, so. though. So there we go then, that took us 37 minutes, 33, drove a distance of 35.05 miles, well, sorry, 35.03 miles, distance walked 3, uh, 318.41 yards, action points of 5,533. So yeah, there we go. We did a run between say. Like, London Paddington and Maidenhead. We did a run between Reading and London Paddington. We also went through the articles of West Cornwall Loco. Arrive a loco. West Cornwall Local in soon. We went through the fixes that have been done as well. But yeah, just a reminder guys, if you are getting West Cornwall on Thursday the 4th of November. Please remember to check if you have North Trends Pennine and the BR Heavy Freight Pack. If you do not have either one of those guys, you will not be able to get the Class 40, Class 40, Class 45, Class 47 and Class 08 layers if you do not have those DLCs. But yeah, that is me done. Well, for Train Sim World today I will be back in a couple of minutes with another stream of something else but yeah thank you for the host from Mr Darko as I say I'll put all social links down below like the Discord, the YouTube and the Twitch I'll also put a link to Train Team World 2 I'll put a link to the Great Western Express I'll put a link to the Diesel Legends of the Great Western DLC and I'll also put a link to North Trends Pennine so you can grab the 45 and, and the other locos you need but yeah, I'll catch you all next time, guys. Have a great rest of the day, whatever time it is. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. See you later.